station has Red Cross volunteers here in Northeast Wisconsin and across the state stepping up to help those affected by Hurricane Matthew. Several volunteers are flying out today and NBC 26's Raquel Amel caught up with a few of them. She joins us from Oshkosh with the details. Since Hurricane Matthew hit, nearly 70 volunteers from Wisconsin have been deployed and now the second wave of Red Cross volunteers is heading out. The bulk of those volunteers will be heading to North Carolina where most of the damage is. But there are volunteers in Florida, Georgia and South Carolina, which is where Dina Culver is headed. She flew out this morning from Appleton and says she'll be gone for several weeks. This is her fourth time being sent to a disaster zone to help victims, but she says she loves what she does. I enjoy it because I get to go in, uh, into other areas that I've never been in and different D uh, disasters as well that I haven't seen in Wisconsin, you know, hurricane we, we're not going to see here. Um, so it, it just brings me a little peace and happiness knowing that I'm able to help somebody else. Volunteers are helping with a variety of things, including damage assessments, which is what Culver is helping with, to food distribution and helping with shelter. I'm told the typical deployment for a volunteer runs roughly two to three weeks, but that could be longer if more help is needed. In Oshkosh, keep you connected, Raquel Amell, NBC 26. NBC 26 is holding a week-long drive to help the victims of Hurricane Matthew. Starting Monday, October 17th through the 21st, we'll be collecting donations of food, goods, and water, and we will deliver those items to those in need.